I'm pleased to be here to celebrate the opening of Southgate and, and now Century Park LRT station. I'm here on behalf of the Honorable Ron Ambrose, Minister of Public Works and Government Services, and Minister for the Status of Women. This really is a, a historic day for our city. The completion of, of these stations is a giant leap forward for our public transit system. We've now got over 20 kilometers of tracks linking the Clairview area to the University of now Southgate and Century Park. Ridership is expanding rapidly. We're going to hit 100,000 100, uh, per day shortly. And this means better accessibility, better convenience, cleaner air, less gridlock, fewer commuters, fewer cars on the, on the roads, and all of that's a good thing. Everybody, from U of A students, downtown office workers, family heads, families heads to the Valley Parks, and many others will benefit from these extended lines. And most importantly for, for us Southsiders, south it means a faster and easier ride to Oilers games and Eskimo games and no parking fees when you get there. This project has been a textbook example of intergovernmental cooperation and common purpose. You know, we couldn't do this without great partners like the Government of Canada, like the province of Alberta under the leadership of Premier Ed Stelmack, like the City of Edmonton under the leadership of Mayor Stephen Mandel. We are all in this together. And that means when I say all of us, I mean all of you, we're all in this together. We should provide support to the federal government through the federal gas tax refund. And that's going to mean a billion dollars in gas taxes to Alberta municipalities between 2007 and 2014 to build environmentally sustainable infrastructure. We're proud to do that. And I can tell you, riding this, the train this morning is really fast, it's really quiet, it's really state of the art. It seems to me it's a, it's a metaphor for the gathering momentum of our economic recovery. In, in Edmonton and in Alberta and in fact in Canada. These are exciting times to live in Edmonton, based and down. Projects like this, the revitalization of downtown, the expansion of the U of A, the revival of oil sands investment and development, and the dream of the Edmonton Expo that will coincide with Canada's 150th anniversary and birthday, all points to a fantastic future for our city and our province. So on behalf of the federal government, we look forward to working with Freedom Stone Mayor Mandel, all businesses and citizens throughout the region realize the full potential that Edmonton and Alberta have to offer to the rest of Canada. I'm proud to be here, proud to be part of this. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mr. Hahn. Great to have you here today. We're pleased uh, 